If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. In Sage50 Accounting, you have access to a cash account register that lets you enter transactions that affect cash accounts into a checkbook-like format if you prefer. To view the cash account register in Sage50 Accounting, select Tasks, Account Register from the menu bar. Then use the Cash Account dropdown to select which cash account to use. Then use the Show Transactions For dropdown to select a date range for which to show transactions in the register. To enter a transaction, click the New button in the Windows toolbar. In the next blank transaction line, type a transaction date or select one from the calendar dropdown. Then select whether this is a payment or a receipt from the Type dropdown. Next to the Type column, Click into the Reference column and enter a reference number, like a check number for example. Then use the Payee slash Paid By dropdown to select either a vendor or a customer as appropriate. Then use the GL Account dropdown to select to which GL account to apply the amount entered. To split the amount between multiple GL accounts, Click the Split button in the GL Accounts dropdown to open the Split Transaction window. Here you can split the transaction amount until the total amount has been dispersed. Then click the OK button to return to the main register screen if needed. If needed, enter a memo into the Memo field. Then enter the Payment or Receipt amount under the Payment or Receipt column as needed. When finished, click the Save button to save the transaction. To drill down to view the associated transaction entry screen and edit the transaction later, double-click the entry to edit to open the receipt or payment in a separate transaction window. Notice that you cannot drill down on some transactions, like the reverse portion of a reversed general journal entry, a beginning balance transaction, opening balance lines, or applied prepayments for payments or receipts. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.